The alleged victim in a child abuse case is back on the stand for day two. His stepmother and step grandparents are also on trial accused of torturing him. Jessica Schmitz following the testimony at the alert desk. So we're talking about the trial of Amy Rodriguez Dangle and her parents, Armin and Susan Rodriguez, a case we've covered for some time. We're now into the second day of testimony and the teen prosecutors say is the victim has been on the stand again. Now you may recall investigators believe the accused forced the victim to stand for hours on end, kept him isolated, didn't let him use the restroom, beat him with belts and spoons and withheld food from him. Today, Amy's defense attorney is cross examining the teen. The attorney has been showing photos of the family together implying that there were happy times. He also brought up that the alleged victim was diagnosed with a behavioral disorder and showed worksheets and notes to the courtroom where the victim wrote that one of his symptoms is lying. Now the teen testified he was told that he could earn his way out of being punished, but he felt it was impossible. He also related his situation to being in prison, saying there were locks on the fridge and the pantry to prevent him from sneaking food. And at times he says he was tied to a bed. He testified he did lie to caseworkers sometimes when Amy was listening because he was scared of what would happen if he told the truth. Now the teen's father, Anthony Dangle, is also facing charges accused of witnessing the abuse but not stopping it. He is expected to testify during the trial and will likely end up taking a plea deal. At the alert desk, Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now.